With a simple twist of a knob, the patented Gamma Side Post Battery Disconnect Switch provides a convenient way to quickly disconnect and reconnect power from an automotive battery. The switch makes it simple to disconnect your battery to work on your vehicle, or the knob can be removed altogether to prevent theft. They also work great to eliminate battery drain if you're storing your vehicle for an extended period of time. Our side post switch is designed to work with General Motors type batteries that have the posts on the side. Gamma battery disconnect switches are designed to handle a continuous 200 amp load. Batteries are typically rated with starting amps or cold cranking amps. And our switches will handle the starting amps from all commercially available batteries. This particular battery is rated at 675 cold cranking amps. And again, our switch will work with any cranking amp rating that you would find on a commercially available battery. In this video we're going to demonstrate a typical installation on a side post battery and also on a motorcycle battery. We are installing the switch on batteries on the bench to make the process easy to view. There are three basic steps to the installation. First, remove the negative cable from the battery. Although the switch can be installed on either the positive or negative side, it is best to install it on the negative terminal for safety reasons. Secondly, using a 3A16 hex head bolt, place the bolt through the unthreaded hole in the switch and into the battery post. And tighten it securely. Next, using the bolt included with the negative battery cable, attach the battery cable to the threaded hole in the switch. Depending upon your particular application, it may be necessary to use a 3 8 flat washer between the battery cable and the switch to ensure a good electrical connection. Twisting the knob fully clockwise connects power. Turning the knob a quarter turn counterclockwise disconnects power. Removing the knob altogether is an effective anti-theft device. The switch can also be used on motorcycle, lawn tractor, and snowmobile type batteries that have these two tabs at the top. There's a number of ways to install the switch. The easiest, if you have the room, is to simply take a quarter 20 bolt through the switch. These holes are actually made for 3 8 bolts, but a quarter 20 will fit through just fine. And then just right through the post and run a nut up the back side. Tighten it securely. And then your battery cable just attaches, again, with a quarter 20 bolt to the other side of the switch. If you don't have enough room in your application to have the switch mounted right to the top of the battery, another way is to just have buy an extension cable, similar to what I'm holding here, attach that to the battery. The other end can go right to the switch. So the switch basically becomes an inline device. So you have the extension cable to the battery the other end to the switch and your normal battery cable that was originally on the battery attaches to the other end of the switch. So that way you can bury this down wherever, you know, there's a convenient location. As long as you install it on the negative side, there should be no issues with shorting or any problems whatsoever. Periodically check the connections to make sure they are clean and tight and there's no corrosion visible. Doing so will provide many years of trouble-free motoring pleasure.